Welcome back everyone. It's been a while, I know, but if you watched the last video, you could see it in my face. I needed a break, okay? I was burnt out. I'd been grinding out proper retro. I'd been working a day job a lot. I'd been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes and it was taking its toll on me. And I was lucky enough to go away for a couple of weeks over the Christmas period, get a bit of sun, put my phone down, relax for a bit, but I'm back. I'm eager, I'm ready for 2021 to smash it, bloody hit it out of the park, wrong sport, that's baseball not football, but yeah, I'm back, I'm feeling good, hopefully I'm looking a bit less tired, I've got a different haircut, I've got rid of my earrings, I have a bit of a tan, I whiten my teeth, get me on Towie, you know what I mean, look at me. Um, as always in these videos, I'm gearing up for a big drop, new boots, but not just that, Lots is changing. Can't tell you everything yet, but in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm getting ready here at the Retro HQ for the next drop. And now I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did while I was having a break. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back. It feels good to be here. Enjoy this. So yeah, I was lucky enough to go to the Maldives over Christmas. Nice to have a break. As you could tell, I was dead on my feet and I needed it. No football boots for two weeks. No work, nothing, lovely. But I'm back, it's good to be back. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited because I've got loads of new boots and they're gonna go up soon. Due to COVID slash Brexit slash the end of the world, a few things are delayed, but I'll show you what's here now. here now got some new stuff coming up soon one thing I promised before my break was a video with a Q&A in it put the feelers out on Instagram got some questions I started making a video but I wasn't feeling it got rid of it 
So I thought I'd answer a few of them now. Thank you so much to everyone that submitted a question. The first question from Two Travelling Bears on Instagram. Lovely guy, big boot head. Question is, what's your thoughts on refs not allowing old Predator blades in, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Premier League, whatever. It's supposed to be for safety reasons. I get At the time, I think it was a bit of a gimmicky thing way back when of people saying, oh, these blades cause horror injuries. And, you know, football is dangerous. You're wearing shoes with spikes on, probably angry at another player and you go flying in. You, if you can break people's legs wearing a pair of AstroTurf trainers, it's dangerous. But it is what it is. Most leagues, you probably, you know, unless your ref is anal about it, you can probably get away with wearing whatever you want. If it's muddy enough, no one can see anyway. RJ Preds, 94, great guy, check out his page. Can I have your autograph before you get famous and work for Chelsea TV? Yes, you can. I'd love to work for Chelsea TV. That'd be a dream job for me. Don't think I'm quite natural enough in front of the camera yet. But, you know, one day I'd love to work in football, you know, presenting, media, whatever, YouTube. I want to have a billion followers on here. We'll see what happens. TB Football Boots. Another great guy, always chipping in with questions and stuff. How have you gained so many followers since February? What do you think attracts people the most? I've spoken about this before. Gaining followers is a recipe. There's lots of different elements. First of all, you have to post good content. You have to post regularly. You have to make things look attractive. You have to speak well to people. Overall, you have to make your page somewhere where people are going to want to come back to and see what you're doing. That's the whole point of them following you and not just checking in every now and then. Uh, DMC Boots asked Dream Holiday Destination. Um, Tokyo, me and Mrs. Retro next year, I think are planning on going to Tokyo. Underscore Mets underscore 89 asks, what made you start Proper Retro and would you ever sponsor a player? Uh, I've said this a few times, but I started the page because I wanted some boots personally and I kept finding boots that were in other sizes or weren't really what I was after, but I knew other people would like. So one day pulled the trigger, bought I think four pairs of boots for about 100 quid and I was like right I'll try and sell these if they don't sell I'll give up on it if they do sell I'll buy some more sell those on 10 months later here we are uh, would I ever sponsor a player yeah sure when I get big enough um, right now for me financially wouldn't really make sense unless it was like a big player who could give me a lot of publicity gain me a lot of new customers just sponsoring like an everyday Sunday league player however wouldn't make sense but if there's any pros out there that want to wear Predator takedowns in the Premier League, let me know. Another question from Mets89, uh, best boot for wide feet. For me, Nike boots in general fit better. I have wide feet, so I tend to play mainly in Nike boots. Uh, best boot for wide feet I've found. Total 90 Lasers, they were great. Nike Phantom Venoms now, great. Hyper Venoms are actually pretty, pretty good. The Adidas Copper 20.1. Uh, I've tried a couple recently. They've been pretty good. A question from Boots Otelli. Top three things Mrs. Retro doesn't like about my chosen side hustle. I would assume the amount of time that I have to spend on it, because obviously I have a full-time job as well. She is a trainee doctor, so she's very busy all the time. Um, so we have limited time to actually spend together, and if I'm sat on my phone all the time, it's not great. The amount of mess. I'd say there's a lot of cardboard in the flat. The smell of used boots kicking around often. Number three would probably be uh, having to go to the post office for me all the time. Because there's a lot of times I can't get to the post office because of work and opening hours and stuff. So she will very, very kindly go and post out your orders for me, package stuff up, send it out. So yeah, probably those three. I hope you still love me. But from Instagram Boot World Legend, Josh Tossel. Am I pronouncing that right? Uh, if you could cop any boot, what would it be and why? I would quite like a pair of Adidas Predator Power Swerve Fantasy Red FG. One of the cooler, more limited Power Swerves I don't have in my collection. Or the blue Climber Cool DB Power Swerves. Perry Kelf asks, Nike or Adidas? For me, Nike to wear, to play in, Adidas to collect. Just the way it is. Webby9101, aka Web Boots. Let's just hit Instagram, give them a follow. Uh, great guy, always chipping in, has asked, is sourcing boots becoming more difficult? I don't really source boots in general anyway, so for me personally, no. But I would imagine it is. I mean, it's harder in general to find like 
good value boots, I would say, because there are 625,419 Instagram boots sellers now. It does make stuff harder because more people are looking for stuff and people are probably looking in all the same places. In general, you know, uh, sourcing specific boots is just something I don't really have the time to do. So finding good value stuff in general is harder because people know selling boots is a thing now. And one last one from TB Football Boots. Again, any famous followers? Uh, the most famous people who follow me are probably other boot sellers, people like BW or Rare Boots for you. Nice people. Chat to BW quite a lot. If you're watching this, thank you. Also, one follower I'm very proud of. This guy called Chris Hamill, Hamill the Animal. If you're watching this, you've probably watched Football Daily on YouTube. One of the presenters, one of the OGs on there. I've been following them for a long, long time. Big inspiration for me, especially for starting YouTube. He's a very nice guy. Chat to him. Chat to him every now and then. He's very supportive of the page, which is really nice. They say, don't meet your heroes, but follow them on Instagram and send them a DM saying how great they are, and they might follow you back. Right, I think that's pretty much everything from the Q&A that I'm going to do for now. Thank you all for watching. It feels good to be back. Guess who's back in the house? Heels click clacking around. 10 points for anyone who gets that reference. Um, lots of boots, lots of changes come in. Hopefully you will see in 2021 uh, more refined, professional, proper retro boots. Thank you so much for watching, my season ticket holders. It's been a blast. And as always, I will see you in the next one.